In this video, you will learn about various types of roofs. After watching this video, you will be able to differentiate among different types of roofs without any confusion. So although there are so many types of roofs, but I have chosen 20 most common types. So hi guys, this is Pawan Kumar and you are watching RKB studies. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So the first one we have open gable roof. Also known as peaked or pitched roofs, gable roofs are some of the most common roofing types seen in many homes worldwide and they are easily recognized by their standard triangular or inverted V shape. So second we have box gable roof. This roofing type looks similar to a regular gable roof but with the triangular extensions closed off instead of being left open. Box gables have a more pronounced triangular shape than regular uh, gable roofs. Third is dormer roof. A dormer roof is not an entirely separate type of roof but it takes its name from a dormer or a window structure that projects vertically from a sloping roof. The roof that covers this window is called the dormer roof and dormers are used to make attic spaces livable which would otherwise be dark and cramped. So fourth is hip roof. Unlike regular gable roofs that do not have a sloping structures on two sides of the building, hip roofs have slopes on all four sides and these sides are all equal in size and joined together at the top forming a ridge. This design makes them more structurally stable than gable roofs. Fifth is hip and valley roof. This is a type of roof that has both hips and valleys. A lot of residential properties in the US are covered with a hip and valley roof, mainly because of its aesthetic benefits. And compared with the roofs that have a single shape to cover a house, this roofing type has numerous dips and peaks, adding a dramatic touch and ascent to any structure. Sixth is gambrel roof. Gambrel roof is like a gable roof, but only if you add another slope to its lower edges. A gambrel's lower slope has a much steeper pitch while the upper side has a gentle one. Seventh is mansard roof. Like the gambrel roof, mansard roofs have two different slopes on the sides of each roof. But while the gambrel has only two sides, a mansard has four, which makes it an analog to a hip roof. In a mansard roof, the lower slope is much steeper than the upper and all sides can either be flat or curved. Eighth is butterfly roof. A butterfly roof is generally made up of two tandem pieces that meet midway and are angled up in a V shape. This gives an effect of a butterfly's wings in a flight when seen from the exterior, making it a good choice for a modern and contemporary houses. Ninth is Dutch gable roof. A Dutch gable is a combination of hip roof and a gable roof. It practically uses two roofs in one dwelling and it uses a hip roof as a base over which a smaller gable roof sits in the center. So tenth is hexagonal gazebo roof. Hexagonal roofs are essentially roofs with six sides that slope downward and hexagonal roofs are not fit for every house. In fact, they are mainly designed for improved aesthetics rather than practicality. One of the most common places you will see a hexagonal roof is in a pavilion structure like gazebo. Eleventh is jerkin head roof. A jerkin head roofs are a combination of two of the most popular roofing types, gable and hip. However, unlike Dutch gable, which is also a fusion of both types, jerkin head roofs are basically huge gables topped with a flattened clipped edge similar to a hip roof. So 12th is clear story roof. A clear story has two sloping sides joined by a short vertical wall. The slope typically falls outward which means the peak is somewhere near the middle of the roof. 13th is sawtooth roof. A sawtooth roof is composed of series of ridges with double pitches on each side. They have numerous parallel planes that resemble a sawtooth with one slope looking steeper than the other one. Windows are often installed in the vertical spaces of the roof allowing plenty of the natural light to pass through. Fourteenth is flat roof. While they look flat from the outside, flat roofs are not exactly flat. They have a slight incline to prevent water from collecting on the top. The National Roofing Contractor Association defines a roof with a slope of 3 and 12 or less to be a flat roof. So 15th is M-shaped roof. An M-shaped roof is basically a double gable roof. The roof rests on the two bearing walls with two sloped sides that meet at the center forming an M-shape. 16th is salt box roof. A salt box roof features two slopes of the varying length with one much longer than the other. An easier visual representation would be to look at it like a gable roof. but with one side shorter than the other one. The slope may be different in each side. Seventeenth is shed roof. A shed roofs have a single slope that inclines at a certain angle. This roofing type is common among many contemporary homes, 
primarily because it offers more interior spaces than the more popular gable and hip roofs all while maintaining a simple sophisticated appearance 18th is Esclean roof Esclean roofs are similar to a shed roof in such a way that they both have a single flat surface with a steep and noticeable pitch however unlike the latter Esclean roofs can come in numerous planes for example the butterfly roof with an inverted V shape is known as variation of the Esclean roof so last we have pyramid hip roof as its name implies a pyramid hip roof takes the shape of the pyramid and is constructed on top of a square or rectangular base it features four triangular sides like a standard hip roof but instead of forming a ridge at the top the sides of a pyramid hip roof converge at a single point which means it does not have a ridge as does a standard hip roof so now we have come to the end of the video so now if you have got some information or some ways to improve yourself just like this video and try to share 